I'm back. Captain Chaotic. Chaos rules. Two to five in the a.m. Wake up, Angelinos. We have a special guest, our second hour together, Henry Phillips. Live here in the studio. He's whacked. And we love this guy. Why? Well, let's take a little listen to his homemade demo CD and find out. And I still don't have oh, hey, baby. um, hey, sir, or captain, can, can we talk? You can talk, we're off the air. Okay, I just wanted to give you a heads up, um, it just occurred to me, this song actually has the word shit in it. Oh, ooh. Is that gonna be a problem? Or? Oh, I don't mind it, but the government might. It's about a minute away. Can you bleep it out or something, or? We don't have technology. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell you what I can do. When it gets near that word, mm -hmm. you point to me, I'll push this button up. And then you say, uh, poop or crap or something like that. Oh, okay. Just yell into the mic. Say it loud to cover the other one. It's about 30 seconds away. Okay. Just say poop or crap or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. They like those words. Hey, Mr. All right. Bone Man, don't you think it's kind of funny with all your automated systems and your interstate networks and your fiber optic bullshit? Shit. You still oh, fuck. Oh. Days, I... oh, man. Mm. I'm sorry. I. Oh, that sucked. That was mostly my fault, I think. But... Oh, I think that was all your fault. Yeah. That's going to cost somebody some money. Is there a way they can go back or. Yeah. They take a time machine back there and fix everything. Have that... you done this before? You are the blossom. I am the vine. You are the blossom. I am the vine. Sweet little blossom of mine. Hanging on the vine. Extracting all the nutrients from inside. <laughs> Sweet little blossom of mine. You are the oyster. I am the pearl. You are the oyster, I am the pearl. Sweet little oyster of mine, irritating you inside, covering me with your shiny mucus-like substance until I shine. <laughs> Sweet little oyster of mine. I am the host organism. You are the unicellular dinoflagellate algae. I am the host organism, you are the unicellular dinoflagellate algae. Sweet little unicellular dinoflagellate algae of mine. Letting me use your chloroplast that I can photosynthesize. Providing me with carbon in exchange for the nutrients you obtain from my catabolic pathways. Sweet little unicellular dinoflagellate algae of mine. You are the bread and Angelina. I am the Cambodian refugee child. You are the Brad and Angelina. I am the Cambodian refugee child. Sweet little Brad and Angelina of mine. Saving me from my third world life. Extricating me from my squalorous conditions and taking me to Beverly Hills and giving me a cool haircut and making me famous. Sweet little Brad and Angelina of mine. Thank you. Thanks. So, what brought you here to L.A.? Well, I was kind of going around all over the country, just kind of playing any place that would have me. A lot of bars, small-time gigs, coffee houses, burger joints, or whatever. Not really getting a lot of money. And, uh, I guess I just did that one bad gig too many. Oh, yeah? What, what happened at that one bad gig? Well, it was a couple weeks ago. It was, uh, in Arizona, and it was a pizza joint. Mm. The general way to describe it is that I didn't connect with the audience. Can you have them get started on that? Hi, I'm Dottie with the fundraiser. What fundraiser? I'm sorry. Miniature Golf for God. I'm hungry. Miniature Golf for God? Do you work here? I'm the assistant manager and the talent booker, and I don't know anything about a Miniature Golf for God fundraiser. I smell pizza. We no. make pizza back here, sir. We have been doing this for 11 years. This is the night that's on our calendar for the last four months. Is Eddie here? He knows. We cleared this with him. Would you get the pizza? Eddie? Yeah. Do you know anything about a Christian fundraiser? Because Dottie's here. Oh. 
Um, yeah, it, it's okay. They they come here uh, once a year after their uh, miniature golf, and they they have pizza and ice cream and a raffle. It, it's it's fine. And that happens, you know. It happens a lot. What do you do when they don't get what you do? I guess you just try to make it through. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, um, we have a special treat for you tonight. Who is undoubtedly a wonderful singer. And um, well, here he is, his, Henry Phillips, everyone. Henry Phillips. Sorry. Um, this is a song about the end of the world. Well, I was flipping through the channels on my TV set last night. And then I came across some TV preacher guy. And he was talking about some prophecies. And I think I heard him say that tomorrow was the end of the world. So then I went into my kitchen and I reached for the top shelf. And I grabbed the finest wine that I could find. Cause there's no need to save the finer things for later anymore Since tomorrow is the end of the world And then I went into my car and I drove to a street corner And I asked some guy where I could score some blow And then I went up to the prettiest hooker I could find And asked if I could do a line of coke off her vagina Well, much to my surprise, she said she didn't have a vagina and much to my surprise, I didn't care. What's this? That should pay $14. Well, I thought it was supposed to be three bucks a head. I mean, there was at least, you know, 50 people in there. Yeah, well, the church people didn't pay to get in. It's $3 for every paid cover. Well, even so, I mean, $14, that's not even divisible by three, you know? I mean, it, like, if you'd give me $12, I'd be like, all right, well, this guy's screwing me. But you know, you're lucky you got anything. Do you know there's a girl in there who just got fired because you sang a song about sniffing cocaine off a hooker's vagina in front of a goddamn Christian fundraising group? You should be in there apologizing. It's okay. Okay. So you got tired of playing in the sticks and you wanted to come to L.A. to a larger audience, huh? Yeah, I think as a performer, you're always trying to reach a broader audience. I mean, that's just sort of a natural instinct for you. Fuck. So that means you're done with touring, you're done with the road? Oh, I don't know if I'd say that. I mean, I think every singer-songwriter uh, sees a little bit of romance in being on the road. The thing about, you know, guys like me and, and Paul Simon and uh, Bob Dylan, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you forgot Einstein. Yeah, 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 and Einstein and Shakespeare. We're, we're, and me. We're all very uh, tortured people. But so. those guys couldn't write comedy songs to save their lives. That's true. I've heard a couple of Einstein's earlier uh, joke songs, and I wasn't very impressed. My brother lives in L.A., so he's always called me with the offer to uh, crash on his couch anytime I wanted to, if I ever wanted to actually give L.A. a shot. And since I had pretty much hit rock bottom and hit a dead end out on the road, I figured maybe this is a good time to do it. Is your brother a performer also? Yeah, he's uh, he's an actor. Oh, really? Oh, maybe I've seen him in something. No. No, you haven't. He's definitely what you would consider a struggling actor. That's horse shit. I mean, one night you're having a beer with your scene partner, and the next morning he's slashing your tires so you don't make it to the Hot Pockets audition. And the women in this town? Forget about it. The girls are nothing but a bunch of... Gold digging, ladder climbing star fuckers. What? You know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm just saying that real people don't last five seconds in this town, so watch your back. All right, man. Well, I'm out of options now, so I'm willing to give it a shot. Well, I might have an option for you. I got a business card for an agent that I know. Let me see if I can dig that okay, up. Okay, great. Let's 
So you still do like an environmental assessment? Assessment, mostly for real estate, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend who's looking into buying one of those Prius. Uh, it, oh, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, man. Well, here's a card for this lady named Ellen Pinsky. She's a manager. Okay. Just call her, tell her that I referred you, and uh, take her to lunch. All right, man. Hey, man, I really appreciate all sure, this. Sure, no problem. Well, you got to buy lunch. Okay. Yeah, that's how they do it. Okay. All right, man. I'm off to work. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. See you, buddy. See you, Carrie. Mm-hmm. See you. I know. Well, I'm telling you that if the plumber doesn't get there by 3 o'clock today, forget it. I gotta meet a client. I gotta go. Hi, Ellen. Henry, hey, Ellen Pinsky. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So you're Matt's brother, right? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna go get a coffee. No and then problem. We'll, you know. Okay. So what do you do exactly, Henry? Um, well, it's it's music. It's sort of like a folk music. Folk kind of, singer. Well, Oi. <laughs> well, that's a toughie. <laughs> no, more of a satirical kind of a folk. Um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I guess you kind of. I gotta see, see it okay. because that's a little confusing. Yeah, yeah, it's a little and, hard to uh, But we'll uh, let me get a cup of coffee okay. and uh, we'll talk. Well, what do? You, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want from me? I mean. Oh, uh, uh, well, I, I guess right now I'm, I'm really interested in trying to get some money. <laughs> oh, you and me both. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Makes the world go round. Yeah. <laughs> well, would you like to do a show? Oh um, yeah, that would be great. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get my coffee, and then we'll okay. discuss how we're going to go do okay. that. You know, there's a place right across the street okay. called Espresso Yourself Cafe and Bar. Okay. Where it's open mic night every night. I think that'd be a good place to start. Okay, but it's like open mic night, so that probably don't, doesn't pay any money. Then. No, it doesn't. But I need to see you, and it's exposure. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm gonna start off with a song that I wrote for a girl. I was seeing uh, this girl recently who was cool, and I don't think she knew, and this is important, uh, I think, for girls out there. I think there's some things that girls shouldn't say like while you're actually in the middle of having sex or whatever. Like, I have no problem if you're having sex, and at one point, you know, the girl says, hey, I really like it when you do this down there, whatever that is. <laughs> but she'd always be like, oh, I really like it when people do it. And I'm like, people? That's not the right word at all. It's not even like gender specific, you just kind of picture a big crowd of people, you know, like at the DMV or something like that. And um, so please don't do that. And um, the other thing, I don't want to belabor it too much, but, uh, and this might be a little graphic and I apologize, but uh, I guess she tried to shave uh, that whole area one time and I guess it came out wrong and she was like, oh, now everybody's gonna think that, and I was like, well, who's everybody anyway? Why would they be seeing that? She never was abused when she was younger And her father never up and ran away And even though her family gave her all the love she needs Somehow she's a bitch anyway <laughs> Me, I tried to be the perfect hero I said I love you 2,000 fucking times a day. So how often do you write songs? Well, uh, it's not very often, actually. I don't know. Oh, okay. Something has to really strike me as legitimately funny before I work on it. But once that happens, then it seems to come out pretty quick. And when I tell her my funny story, she'd say, well, I guess you had to be there. Michelangelo apparently once said um, that if people knew how hard he worked, they wouldn't call him a genius. And I think with me, it's sort of the opposite, you know? I think that if people knew how little I worked on this stuff, I don't think that they would say that I suck. Somehow she's a bitch anyway. I'm sorry, I always get a little emotional at the end of this song. I want to apologize. <clears throat> She's a fawn. <laughs> Can bitch anyway. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Here you go. All right, thank you very much. 
Uh, I'm Becca, by the way. Oh, hi. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Henry. Henry. Yeah, I know. I loved your set. It was really great. Oh, thanks. Um, well, I, I guess okay. uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, wait. Don't you want your coffee? Oh, shoot. Coffee? This is stupid. All right, thanks. All right. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Henry Phillips, James Taylor on Smack. What's that? Well, you know, we need to come up with like a catchy description of you, and I think that's it, because you're kind of like James Taylor, but you are on Smack. Oh. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, the problem I had with it is I think James Taylor actually was on Smack. You know, that'd be redundant to say, you'd be just like saying, you know, uh, you know, Mel Gibson if he was a, an alcoholic. Okay, or forget it. Right, Gone. Whatever. Done. Okay. We'll deal with it another time. Okay. Okay. But in the meantime, I want you to play Lucas's party. Uh, okay. Who's Lucas? Great guy. Great guy. You know, he's in the industry. Big guy. You know, he knows everybody. Hey, you don't do like parodies or anything, you know? Like, remember oh, yeah. that song, The Israelites, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I get up in the morning, ding, ding, for breakfast. Da, 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 Whoa, the Israelites. Remember that song? I used to think it was, whoa, my hazy red eyes. Oh. You know, I thought the guy was waking up with a hangover. So, oh, you know, okay. Did you do anything like that? Um, absolutely not, no. So, how you dig in L.A., Henry? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Hi. Ellen Pinsky? Ellen Pinsky Entertainment. Fabian Mann. So what do you do, Fabian? Uh, I'm an A&R guy. Oh, with what label? X Company Records. Oh. You ever hear of Stupid Joe? Sure. I signed him. Whoa. 100,000 units in the first week of sales. Oh. oh, boy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I have a client who's performing here later. His name is Henry Phillips. He's right over there with the black shirt. You really got to check him out. OK, yeah, let me know. He's terrific. OK, great. Here, my card. Cool. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you keep it. It's for you. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. well, yeah. I got plenty. <laughs> Great, thank you. Nice to meet you, Fabian. You too, Alan. It's uh, like folk music. I mean, not, not real folk right. music, but like a satirical take on sort of an acoustic singer songwriter -y. Cool. It's hard to explain. No, it sounds so awesome and great. Um, good luck with all that, though. Thank That's you. That's really cool. Thanks. By the way, your flies down? Oh, my God. Yeah. I've really enjoyed just the, the little bit of time that I've been here in L.A. Johnny. I found the people to be very friendly. Oh, good. It's been forever. Sure. You never called me after uh, that one night. A little right. disappointed. Right, yeah. What happened? You know, I was, I was drinking a lot back right. in those days. Yeah. So. Well, um, what are you doing now? We should hang out sometime. The truth is I'm, I'm still drinking a lot in these days also. Oh. So I'm actually, I'm headed to the bar right now. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm glad you're enjoying LA. It's a beautiful place. Paige, hey! Filled with beautiful people. Hi. Uh, I, I heard you were casting Kenny's new show. That's great. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I was going to call you, but I didn't. I know. I mean, I know there's always stereotypes that you hear about LA people who are self centered or um, people are just going to use you. That is true. You know what? I have never met him. If you could give him my card, that oh, would be You know amazing. what, Paige? Before you do that, I kind of have a new rule. I'm not talking business at parties anymore. So you can keep your card, and I'll talk to you sometime during some week. OK, OK. okay. I don't know. People are always talking about how everybody is uh, shallow or superficial. See out of here? No. Why? I got to be leaving a party to hug my friend. And you found them to be deep thinkers and uh, <laughs> people of integrity. But no, I mean, the reality is I've had some really great conversations with people. Hi. Hey. Wow. You look incredible. Thank you. You too. I haven't found any of those stereotypes to be true. What part of LA have you been in? I said, I'll find you later. Okay? I hope it keeps going that way. You've been here like, what? Two weeks. Oh. <laughs> Just wait. And you are? Oh, Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi. Oh, you must be... Uh, I am Lucas, yes. Oh, that's... <laughs> are you here on your own, Henry? Uh, no, I'm a friend of Ellen Pinsky's. Who the fuck is Ellen Pinsky? Uh, she is, um, she's actually... Oh, uh, the lady going on uh, uh, You know what, uh, excuse me a second. I'm gonna go see her. Okay. What are you doing? Did you tell him you want to sing? 
Oh, um, you know what? I don't think this is the right time. I mean, there's are people are talking. And, this yeah. is perfect. There are a lot of important people here, Henry. Yeah, I know, um, but... You see that guy over there in the beige jacket? Yeah. He's A&R from X Company Records. It's just, it just feels like uh, wrong. You know, I don't, I don't even think people would be listening. Oh, they'll listen. Go get your guitar. Trust me. Hey, uh, could you stop the music? I want to make an announcement, okay? Uh, hello, everybody. Can I have everybody's attention, please? Thank you. Henry Phillips is going to sing some songs for your listening pleasure. And I want you to all give him a big welcome. Critics have referred to him as James Taylor on Smack. So let's hear it. Come on. Give him a warm welcome. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Can we fix that? Can you fix that? No, just have it. Right. She never was abused when she was younger. Is it in the water? And her it's father never up and ran oh, away. Sound like ass. What are you doing to my party? Stop! What are you doing? Don't touch! Don't touch! Who are you, Pico? Oh, oh shit, man. Shit. I'm sorry. Your burns Henry. and your three rags uh, and get the fuck out. So I know you're performing with people all the time and for people all the time, but uh, what is it? Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? Oh, I've always been extremely shy and insecure. Really? Yeah, ever since I was a little kid. When I was in third grade, this girl, Nancy, who was the prettiest girl in our class, came up to me and said, you have a big nose. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, for That's years great. after that, I was always insecure. I'd try to hide my nose, like when people took pictures, I'd try to sort of tilt my head to one side so they couldn't really see the how large my nose is. And then, later in my teens, somebody came up to me and said that, that my hairline was receding. So now I'm kind of walking around trying to tilt my head upwards so that people don't see my hairline, but I still had the nose issue, so I'm kind of tilting it to the side. And, and then I went to a hairdresser who told me that uh, he thought I had a protruding chin, so he thought to give me this uh, sort of a hairstyle where the, the hair comes up in the front. Yeah, like pompadour or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, and I guess the idea is that that would offset the chin, and I was a mess. 2.42 in the a.m. Hope you're doing well and wide awake. We'll be right back with Henry Phillips. Henry. Yo! What? You know what this is? Uh, no. This is Carrie's bar of imported facial lotion. It's from France. It's from France. I don't care. It's cream for her face, not soap for your ball sack. She wants to know why there's pubic hair all over it. Uh, I'm sorry, I guess I took a shower last night and I used it. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I can see again. that you used it. Well, look, here's the name of the cream. It's called Mistral, and here's the place on 3rd Street where you can get it. The only place that imports it. Tell them it's $50. You can't buy a separate thing, Soapy. You have to buy the whole gift pack. I can't afford $50, you know yeah, that. Yeah, I can't afford a new girlfriend or a new place to live. Okay? Can't you just rinse it off or hey, something man, like this? This is causing a little bit of strain in the relationship, so I'd appreciate it if you could just work with me on this one. It's a good song. 100, yeah, 100,000 100, units. It's first week of sales. Hey, hold on a second. I'll call you back. Hey, man, do you have a cigarette can bump? Yeah. Hey, you were at that party last night. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, that was yeah. one performance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's good cool. to see. Yeah, it didn't really go that well, yeah. but... Oh, right. do you have a light I can vote? Um... How much do I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, it was, uh... It wasn't really... It was... It's good to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, Thanks, cool, man. man. Oh my god, you're Jane Crown Jones. Yeah, I am. Oh my 
God, it's so good to meet you. Um, oh, thank you. Can I please have an autograph? Sure. Oh my God, you're just like all over my Facebook, I swear. Oh, cool. <laughs> and I just love your music so thank much. You. Thank, thank you, thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> And if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay? Actually, actually, I do have a question. What is the name of this song? Um, I don't, I, I don't know. Oh, Sorry. Excuse me. I'm sorry, this is just driving me crazy. What, what is the name of the song? Oh, um, it's, uh, gosh. Oh my God, it's just, it's like, oh, like you want, oh. I'm just having a, like a, like, if you hadn't asked me, I'd probably be like, oh, that's that's uh, blah, blah, blah. But now I'm like, Stage I can't. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't even know what. Uh, oh, my God. It's, it's going to drive I hear me insane. It's been, it's like um, a, but you know what? Don't worry about it. All right. Sorry. Yeah, no, no. Just like put it out of your mind. Now, now I'm all <laughs> frustrated. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to think of what it is. It's like I infected you or something. Oh, that's I'm right. Sorry. No problem. Like, oh. So you come into L.A. Mm -hmm. and, and you just get here, and yeah. uh, two weeks later you have a record deal. How does that work? I don't know. Well, um, it must have something to do with your talent, too. I mean, what, did you go in and they just liked the way you look, or did they <laughs> see your show? It, I guess it is kind of weird all of a sudden, the way, <laughs> the way things have happened in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Hi. <laughs> You're my inspiration. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to tell oh, you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't really know how things have been happening so fast. Uh, but, uh, but I'm enjoying it, and I'm definitely not going to complain. Uh, yeah. Rita. Morning. Hey, clear my schedule for tomorrow morning, OK? Hoping to take an appointment with Henry Phillips. He's Jane Crown Jones' inspiration. Listen, that's his manager's card. Give her a call. Tell her that I'm going to be at his show tonight, OK? Do it, Rita. So you got a good, well-connected manager. Hello? Henry. Well, she no. definitely has her own style. Remember that guy, Fabian, the A&R guy from the party, from X Company Records? Uh, yeah. I just ran into him a couple hours ago, actually. Really? What did he say? Oh, he just, uh, like... Bummed a cigarette and sort of took off. Huh. Stole my lighter. Well, maybe he was just, you know, playing it cool, because... He wants to hear more of your song. Are, are you sure he was talking about me? Yeah. It just seems like it was such a train wreck. Oh, you know, these guys, they can see beyond the technical glitches and see the real talent. Anyway, he's going to be at the Espresso tonight. All right, I'll be there. So I'll see you there. All right, bye. Hey, Matt, what have you been up to? Gee, I don't know, Henry. Let's see if we can figure out what I've been up to. So how about the women? Are you in a relationship or something right now? Actually, no, I'm going through a little bit of a breakup situation right now, which sucks. And my friends are tired of hearing me complain about it. It's been about nine years now. Hey, Henry. Oh, hey. Um, Becca. Hey, Becca, I'm sorry. I can't believe you forgot my name. Oh, no, it's just that, uh, well, only once was when, uh, when you did it. What? Um, just you only did it that one time. One time when said I it. what? Said it, I'm sorry. Said um, it, can I go to the stage? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, sure. Cool. Right over there. All right. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I was at the bank, and um, I had allergies, and uh, there was a girl in front of me, and I had to sneeze, and she was kind of cute and everything, and I didn't want to sneeze all over her, so I kind of tried to hold it in. And this weird thing happened. I don't know if you've ever had this happen when you try to hold in a sneeze, but um, somehow or another, I wound up making the sneeze noise, but it, like at the last minute, the sneeze part like backed out. So I was behind her, and I kind of made a noise that was sort of like a... <laughs> like that, which was, like it would have been better I think if I just sneezed, because that's not a sound that you want to hear the guy behind you making when you're at the bank. So nothing really happened with her or whatever, but um, this is a song about calling that somebody special really late at night. Hello, Michelle. I know you're probably sleeping, but I just called because there was something on my mind. You're the kind of girl that a man could really settle down with Cause you're smart, faithful, innocent, and kind Which is why I'm calling you tonight What was the name of that one other chick you were hanging out with Friday night with the pierced tongue? You know, the one who kept saying that she used to be a stripper 
you said she was making up for all kinds of emotional problems by having sex with every guy she dates. <laughs> well, is she seeing anyone right now? And if not, well, do you maybe have her number? <laughs> and if she is, well, then what are you doing tonight? How did you get started? Well, I've always been a big fan of the whole singer-songwriter genre, you know, with those kind of wear your heart on your sleeve ballads. And I don't know, I used to try to do it. I'd go to coffee houses and open mic nights and whatnot. And um, people hated it, you know? <laughs> I, don't know I don't know why it's a tough sell, you know? People would just be going about their conversation, not paying attention. And I actually tried to sort of turned some heads and I started putting kind of wacky lyrics to some of the songs. He's the kid in the back of the class who always keeps to himself and the other kids call him Quasimodo cause he got some hunch upon his back <laughs> and his hair's all filled with shit and he only wears a trench coat and instead of taking notes he draws pictures of Satan. And sure enough, in the middle of people's conversations, I would catch them sort of turning around and going, hold on a second, what the hell did this guy just say? Please don't laugh at him. Don't even crack a joke. Don't blow your spit wads in his face or piss in his coat. Cause someday he might come to school with a snub nose 38. And if you're nice to him, then just maybe he won't kill you. And if you see the fat kid walking through the halls and he's got plaid pants, don't say, hey, look, everybody, looks like someone stole my couch. And just because the weird guy throws a baseball just like a little girl doesn't mean he doesn't know how to make a ball. All the film freaks and the drama geeks and the people with braces and the pizza faces and the four eyes and the thunder thighs, let's not treat them with scorn. Cause someday they'll find the combination to their grandfather's fucking gun collection and they'll form a militia and make you wish you had never been born. And when you're all cowered under your desk someday, you can flash them a little smile and say, remember me, I'm the dude who said hello to you once in a while. And maybe then he'll pause and say, well, you know, I guess that's true. And instead, he'll bump off the guy right next to you. And it was great, you know? And all of a sudden, people started coming up to me and saying, hey, when are you going to be playing again? And I felt like, well, this is something that I can do. You guys are awesome. Thanks. Here's some bagels. Awesome. Oh, great. And I have some cream and sugar for your coffee. Hey, look at this. Just in case you want to have It's a nice little spread. I don't know what that picture is a little goofy, but the article's great. It's great. Yeah. So, did you find parking okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Great bagels. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Where'd you get them? You know? I don't know. I'll find out for you. That's no big deal. That's good. Rita. Yeah? Hey, where'd we get the bagels? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, can we find out, please? Rita, I have Henry Phillips here. He's enjoying the bagels. He wants to know where they're from. Do you think we could find that out for him? Sure. Great, thanks. It's no big deal. She's great. She'll figure it out. No, oh, it's no problem. So, uh, how would you describe what you do? Well, it's, um, uh, it's like a satire, or it's satirical, but it's, um, it's folk music. I mean, it's not folk music, but it's more of a satirical kind of, um, mm. folk set, uh, Maybe? Yes. Dave got the bagels, and he's on a run right now. I called his cell phone, but he didn't answer, and I guess he's probably in trouble. Rita, I don't know why this is becoming a problem. <laughs> this is a pretty simple question. Great. It's really fun. Don't worry about it. So, folk music. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hello? 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 Hey, I'm up in Laurel Canyon. What's going on? What? I don't have... Oh, shit. Hello? Rita, uh, sorry, you're cutting out. I have bad reception right now. Hello? Where did you get the bagels? Hello? Fuck. Dave? Hello? Hello? Rita? Oh, now, come on now. Fuck! X Company. Hey, Rita. Say it one more time now. Say it. I think I have a bar. Dave, where are you? I'm up on Laurel Canyon. I have one fucking bar. What's the emergency? I absolutely need to know where... Where you... What? Where what is? Dave? This fucking piece of shit. X Company. Rita. Rita, it's Dave. I'm turning around. Where? I took... Oh. Fucking text me! This is so fucking Rita. Break, 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 Shut up! Fabian? Yep. Dave's phone is broken or something. I, I've been trying to call him and it's just not working. Rita, you're embarrassing me. I have Henry Phillips here. He wants to know where the bagels are from and I can't tell him. If this were a dummies guy, it'd be page one. Where are the bagels? Where are they from? Can we find that out? X Company. Rita, hey. It's, it's Dave. What's the emergency? Sorry, I have no reception up here. Where did you get the bagels? The what? Fabian's talking to some guy who absolutely needs to know where we got the bagels from. You gotta be fucking shitting me. I'm not shitting you. It's some guy named Henry Phillips, and he absolutely needs to know where we got them from right now. Rita, do you know what I just had to do? I just had to make a U-turn on Laurel Canyon during fucking rush hour, and now I'm gonna have to make a left turn out of here, plus I had to get 50 cents. I have no idea. He's just some guy that Fabian's signing. Some eccentric songwriter, singer type. Just you or him. Where did you get the bagels? I don't remember, Rita. Uh, the Star Place. Wait a minute. Star Bagels on Pico? Yeah. Awesome. I'll just call info. Oh, will you, Rita? Oh, will you? Thank you so much, Rita. Take it easy. Fuck my dream of dunk. What's this? That's our star client, stupid Joe. 100,000 units he sold in the first week. Diarrhea Dreams is on morning radio nationwide. I think you'd get a kick out of it, maybe learn a couple things. Fabian? Yeah. The bagels are from Star Bagels Kosher Bakery, 7711 and a half West Pico Boulevard. Is there anything else I can do for Mr. Phillips? Oh, that's fine. Thanks, Rita. Sure. Pro. Hey, welcome to X Company Records. All right. There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to make this delivery today. No. It's a long story. Hey, have you ever heard of some douchebag named Henry Phillips? No, who's that? Wow. What a dick. What a douche. I'm sorry, Dave. Blows. All right, well, good luck, man. I'll tell him. All right, bye. Who's a dick? Who's a douche? Singer-songwriter that X Company Records just signed. Oh, Dave's not going to be able to make the delivery. Oh, jeez. So, this singer-songwriter just made Dave cross town to get him kosher bagels. He's got to have these kosher bagels for some reason. What, what is he? Is he a... Uh... Orthodox Jew? No. Some white trash guy. Probably power tripping on Dave. You know, Dave's Jewish. So, it's probably just like, Hey, Jew boy, get me some bagels. Henry Phillips. in case I get an audition for something where I need a beard. So I don't have to grow one overnight. Hey, guys. Great. What? Well, that's it? That's the end of the argument? Great. Walking away? Let's get guitarded in here! It's a police, oh my god. It's a police, oh my god. The police, oh my god, they come to take my brother Tito away. Just for stealing some Chevy hubcaps. Well, she's on my face. I'm eating her beaver. 
Nothing I can do. I totally ripped the big farm. <laughs> okay, so Henry Phillips has the record deal. He's got the uh, jolly green cash giant pooping in his hand, and everything's going great. So what happens next? I mean, uh, are you going to sell out to the man? You know, it's funny. I don't think I would have the ability to do it. Are you ready to get guitar Hey, man. Hey. <sighs> Carrie and I had a misunderstanding, and apparently I'm supposed to be an Oxnard at her parents' place, but I booked a birthday party gig, so I was hoping you could fill in for me. At the birthday? Yeah. Just let do my songs and stuff? No, as Batman. <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna do Batman, are you kidding? Why not? I don't even know what to do. What do you mean? You show up, you hand out candy, you take pictures with the kid, you run around with them until they pass out from sugar high. Maybe some dad will arm wrestle you to show his kid he's better than Batman. What's, what's... I'm not good with kids, man. What do you have to be good with kids? You show up, you stand there with arms akimbo. How good do you have to be? Dude. Come on, what do you say? I don't know. Come on, dude. There's a hundred bucks in it for you. I did hook you up with Alan, so you owe me one. All right, all right man. I'll, I'll do it. Cool? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Thanks, dude. Okay. Oh, I, I should probably mention, I mean, it won't come up, but if anybody asks you for legal reasons, you're not actually Batman. I'm not? No. I mean, they'll know you're Batman. You just can't say it, you know? What do I say I am? Just look at him, like, as if to say, you know I'm Batman, you know? Okay, but don't say it. No, but don't say it. You know, a lot of times I'll look at my brother and I'll think, you know, he's got it kind of rough. Uh -huh. I'm gonna bum the smoke. I think being an actor, that's a tougher gig than even being a musician. Oh, that was in and out. Oh, how's that? Well, if you're a musician and you're down and out and you need to pick up some extra bucks, you can always call a restaurant and say, hey, I'll do background music for your customers. But if you're an actor, you can't call up and say, hey, uh, I'll do some background acting for your customers while they're trying to eat their spaghetti. I just don't think it really works the same way. I want to do a blues song for you. You know, the blues is all about despair. And um, the problem is that for me right now, everything's actually going pretty good. So here we go. <laughs> Indian man is about to sign an anti-Semitic folk singer guy, Henry Phillips. I got a refrigerator filled with booze. My car's running fine. It gets pretty good gas mileage. Damn, things are going good. Now, there's a niche market that hasn't been exploited. You could play all the skinhead coffee houses in Montana. You bet. Change his name to John Cougar Concentration Camp. And I got a beautiful wife. What about this guy who sings about how the Holocaust never ended? Baby and man just sings. So actually singing about yeah. that? She's a bisexual nymphomaniac nurse. She has a perfect credit score and a hysterectomy. I guess that things could be worse. And now I'm fresh out of blues. And he sings about killing Jews? Jews, blacks, gays, whatever. He's a fucking Nazi. He denies the Holocaust. Uh, uh, uh. No, no, done. That's mine. Let me have it. I'm living proof in the flesh that you could be fresh out of blue. Is that the guy that says that the entire world economy is controlled by three Jews in Switzerland? Who are you guys talking about? Mm, that um, celebrity guy, you know, the one um, neo-Nazi said the racist things. Oh. Henry Phillips. He said, we can't separate the white and black race until we steal the government back from the Jews. No, it's an actual quote, that all the minorities are diluting their genes because the least intelligent ones are having the most amount of children. Yeah, uh, what do you say? Uh, every day in America, 200 white women get raped by a black guy. Could you say you've heard it from somebody? Oh, yeah. We were talking about it over there. Blue. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're trying to get to uh, Gotham City. Is that? Yeah, can we take a? Uh, yeah. take You Wilshire? saw it, Batman. Take Wilshire. Where's Robin? Where's the Joker? Hey, Batman. Let yourself go a little bit there, Dark Knight. Na 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 Yes or no? It's not easy to just say yes or no. I would say I'm I'm definitely part of the Bat family. Why are you wearing a ski mask? Why are you sweating? Your shoes are showing. Well, right now I'm not out there fighting evil and crime in the world, so I'll, I just... Johnny had, to... had the real Batman at his birthday party. You know, everybody's different. I mean, he might have had a different budget or maybe... maybe uh... Yeah, obviously not the high budget version. I'm sort of a Bat brother. Bat guy. You could just call me a bad guy. I don't know. Oh, stop, stop, stop. So, do you see yourself more as a musician or as a comedian? Well, I've always liked to say that I've got one foot in the music door and one foot in the comedy door. So I don't know if you can really picture that or not. I'm not really getting anywhere. I'm just kind of humping the wall in between the two doors. Yeah, what did you do last night? Oh, last night I, um... I was really tired, so I just stayed home and watched this movie, um, The Grapevine. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah. That was a great movie. Oh, you liked it? Um, well, I mean, not necessarily. I just... You just said it was a great movie. Well, I mean, what I mean is that I thought the actors were really good. I just didn't like the movie as a whole. Really? I kind of didn't like the acting. I thought it... I thought it was kind of bad. Oh. I mean, otherwise, it probably would have been a good movie. Well, yeah, that's that's kind of what I mean. It's like, um, I think that they were good actors. They just weren't acting well in this particular movie. You know what I mean? Henry. Hello? How the hell are you? I'm Joel. I own a joint. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. It's a great place you got here. Oh, thanks, man. Listen, your manager tells me that uh, you might be signing with X Company. That's far out, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, I guess. Well, are you kidding me? You're not going to do it? Well, I mean... Believe me, I need the money, but I just think that uh, I'm not really a big fan of their other clients, you know, namely that stupid Joe guy. The stoop. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little story, Henry. Okay. Years ago, before I became an entrepreneur, I was tending bar at this joint in Chicago called the Green Mill. There was this cat singing there who was great. So one day he's on stage and he starts doing this, this funny trumpet sound with his mouth, you know, he's doing a, You know, that kind of thing, only, only much better, of course. Well, sure. Anyway, his record company comes, and they love it, so they offer him a deal to do a novelty album of all his trumpet-sounding songs. Yeah. Henry, you know what this cat tells this company? No, what? He told them to shove it, and you know why he did that, Henry? Why is that? Because the cat had integrity. Yeah, man. That's what he had. <laughs> so, um, who did he turn out to be? Oh, who? The cat? Oh, yeah. I, th I thought maybe he turned out to be somebody famous or something. Who the fuck knows? And here's your coffee. Oh, great. Wow, that's a small? No, well, that's a large. Oh, I asked for a small. We're out of small cups right now, so I just got a large. Oh, well, but you just charged me for a small? No, I, I charged you for that large. Couldn't you have just poured less coffee into a larger cup? We charged by the cup, so inventory would be thrown off. Well, it just doesn't sound fair. It's not my problem that you guys are out of small cups. That's all it's, I'm saying. It's a 20 cent difference, though. That's yeah, but it's not the money. It's just sort of the... Hi, is everything okay here? Yep, everything's great. Well, I mean, actually, no. I mean, I wanted a small coffee, and he charged me for a large just because he's out of the small cups, but I should have gotten charged for a small one. Right? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, that's all I was saying, yeah. I, I remember from training, though, Larry said that we, uh, because of the... Inventory. Well, Daniel, I'm sure Larry said something about flexibility there too, didn't he? Yeah. Um, and this is one of those flexible times, okay? So go ahead and get the gentleman his change. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, it's no problem. It's not even a problem. Thanks. Unbelievable prick. Hi, Henry. Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, great. I got lots to tell you. I hope you don't mind there any order. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. Go right ahead. Okay. 20 cents. Hi, Daniel. Hey, Alan. Hey, Daniel, this is Henry Phillips. Henry Phillips, this is Daniel. He's a client of mine. Yeah, we met. 
Daniel's a terrific actor. Do you want an Americano? Oh, yes, please. So, I just booked you a radio interview with Captain Chaotic. Okay. You know, DJ, late night, very cool. I'm very excited. All right, here you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Do you know, Daniel, uh, Henry is going to sign a big record deal with X Company Records. Great. Maybe now you can afford a large coffee. What's going on there? Hey, is that a small cup? I guess. I had sex with Carrie today. Really? No. I did have a dream you were gay, though. Did I tell you that? That's weird. It was weird. You were, like, desperately trying to have sex with all these different men. Well, it's weird, man. Don't dream about that. Well, you don't get to pick what you dream about. But, yeah, you and me were at this gay club. I don't know. You were, like, shirtless in front of this marble fireplace and Django Reinhardt record going on in the back, and you're shaving your legs. Well, I mean, if you're having dreams like that, then that probably means that you're gay. Well, that's what's weird, is that I was having sex with all these women in the dream, but you were like, I don't know, you were running around just asking anybody with a mustache to take you right where you stood. <sighs> all right, come on, man. Can you try to help me figure out the significance? Why would you be covered in rainbow glitter riding a minotaur? I gotta set up. If you weren't gay. All right, I'll be in in a minute. Hello. Hi, can I have something fruity with an umbrella in it, please? Something to get me messed up in a hurry. No, I'm sorry, we just have beer and wine. Then I'll take that bottle right there and one glass and a pretty smile. Okay. Okay. Is it? Oh, good. I love you guys dancing. All right, that's cool. I'm gonna get new clothes so I can get a girlfriend. I'm gonna start clipping my toes so I can get a girlfriend. Try to stop always picking my nose so I can get a girlfriend. Stop wearing pantyhose so I can get a girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. I'm even willing to pay some girl to say that she's my girlfriend because all my buddies think I'm gay because I never have a girlfriend. I buy flowers every day for my girlfriend. I wouldn't pull a Robert Blake and kill my girlfriend. Girlfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> we could sit around and do some crazy shit together. Like, I could pull her ears out and say, hey, look. sink to get me a girlfriend I'm gonna put something in her drink and then I'll have a girlfriend but then they put me in the clink and I'd be someone else's girlfriend 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 that's Matt dancing there he's awesome Oh, hey, could I, could I bum a smoke? I'm all out. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh, I got a light, too. I don't know, I don't. Yeah. It's good night, good crowd tonight. My yeah. mom came, she's a good supporter. She bought good. my first uh, CD, it's a demo. Cool. Did my buddy's all right, basement. see ya. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Henry. Shit. Oh, hey. What's the matter? Nothing. Nobody seems to have their own cigarettes. I think he just wanted an excuse to talk to you. Yeah. OK, that's a great pickup line. <laughs> hey, can I buy a cigarette? Hey, can I come back to your place? Because I don't have any money. Can you take me out? No, no, let's crush your place till I get a record deal. <laughs> Whatever. So I guess you smoke quite a bit, huh? Mm. Well, that's for you. Oh, thank you. Hey, I think your friend's drunk. My, oh, yeah. No, my brother. Yeah, he's... Oh, he's your brother? Yeah, he's oh. uh, completely shit-faced. <laughs> so... Shit-faced. Yep. 
Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think uh, I think I'm probably gonna try to get him to get some food or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to a sushi place on Ventura actually. If you wanna, if you guys wanna join me. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, is it okay if he comes too? Oh, that's what I meant. You both, of course. Oh, both, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. As long as he doesn't vomit on me. Okay. Okay. I'll make sure he just vomits near you, but not actually okay. on you. All right. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. So this is albacore. Oh, right. Really? I'm not, I don't remember what this is, some kind of hand roll. Um, this oh. is shrimp and spicy tuna. Oh, that's my favorite. Yeah. I had a dream Henry was gay. Yeah, Matt had this weird dream. It keeps bringing up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Weird. I was having sex with all these women, but Henry was like fingerballing this Dominican guy. Okay, come on, man. <laughs> anyway, the sushi's really good. I eat sushi all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm pretty much giving up red meat. Mm-hmm. Me too. What? Yeah. You love red meat. Well, I mean, sometimes I'll have a little Sometimes bit. you had a bacon cheeseburger for lunch. I eat a little bit of red a meat. A little? It's actually, like all you eat, Jimmy I'm, Dean. I'm trying to kind of cut back a little bit. Sometimes, if sometimes every day. OK. I eat a lot of red meat. I'm sorry. I mean, it's just a personal choice. It's no big deal. All right. My friend, um, she owns a club in Portland, and she keeps offering me this talent booker job. But hey, you know, you could come up and um, and do a gig. You could be like the first one to perform. It'd be really fun. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been up there to Portland. <laughs> oh, really? You've been to Portland. You told me it sucked. Um, well, I think I w I've been to Oregon. I think I was more on the outskirts. You told of, me you uh, performed in downtown Portland, and you thought the club was shit, but you had a good time that night because you banged the waitress from the oh, Eagle Hut. Dude, I didn't. I don't even. I, I guess. Uh, so you've been was there. Was that Portland? Yeah. <sighs> you know, I guess I probably have. I'm sorry. He's he's kind of drunk, and I, I was just trying to. I was just trying to get in your pants. So he's a wow. Bit what? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah, had a I'm couple sorry. Of yeah, too. I think I'm gonna go. No, yeah, don't, know. don't go. Sort of, yeah. Are you sure you don't? We're have having to fun. Go. Uh, I'll see you at the espresso bar. I'll see you tomorrow. Dude, you totally chased her away, man. I chased her away. You fucking gotta learn how to close the deal, man. Come on, man. Whatever, all chicks are bitches. Hey, that's a good slogan, don't you think? All chicks are bitches. All chicks are bitches is your slogan. You don't even know what a fucking slogan is. I know man. what a slogan is. I made it up. I can say what my slogan is. And I have a logo, too. You know what it is? It's a fucking bitch with a red circle and a slash through it. I have a slogan and a Logan. Man, let's get out of here. Dude. Yeah, this let's get ridiculous. out of here. You can think about a slogan for you. Hi, Henry. I just got off the phone with a guy, are you sitting down? From LA Night Scene. Yeah, and he wants to do an exclusive interview with you. His name is Don Chase, nice guy. So come over to my house because they need a current picture of you and I'll set up a photo shoot. Oh, this is so exciting, Henry. Henry, come hey. on in. Hey, sorry about the mess, but I didn't have time to clean up. I gotta get this picture in by three, and so I gotta get to one hour photo like ASAP. So I thought this would be a good background, the white. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Okay. Just kind of right here? Yeah, kind of right there. And, uh... Am I exactly... Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Okay. Hold on, I gotta wait for the flash. All right. right, is that... Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that Brad Wilson? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, I used to be his agent. Really? <laughs> yeah. In fact, I got him his first gig at Chopper's Roadhouse in 1977 in Fresno. <laughs> oh, wow. So what happened with oh. you? Oh, I'm sorry. What, all right. I was just going to say, what happened with all that? Well, you know, he got his first big hit, and then all the big agencies came down on him, and, you know, he went with them. I mean, I understand it. He's just like, wow, he dumped you. Yeah, he dumped me. It's kind of harsh. Oh. Like, oh, I was, uh... What? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, scratch right. your nose later. All right, why don't you tell me when you're okay, ready? Okay, all right, I won't okay. move at all. I was just saying all that right, sounds well, kind of harsh that he would just win. dump you like that. You well, know, you just... know, I was a big nobody back then, so I, I really don't blame him for that. You gave him a start. You know? Yeah, I know, but...
Are you sure everything? Uh, hey, that's not bad. I like well, that. No, angle. I was kind of no, but that was okay. It but looked like kind of cool. I like. Sure? I gotta go. I gotta get okay. this in. We're late already. I felt like I was moving. Hey, in. by the way, Don Chase is gonna call you tomorrow at six p.m. Oh, yeah, on yeah. your cell. Oh, I'll have so it on. you gotta keep it on. And Definitely. I told him you're really busy, so he can only ask you five questions. I just. Well, are you sure? I mean, during sound check, I've got an hour to. No, you know, no, no, no. If he you're wants busy. You're busy. It's an image thing. Okay. You know, very Hollywood. Okay, here comes right. my bus. We gotta okay, go. Right. Come on. I have this. Friend Susie uh, went out and got a new boyfriend, and they had sex. And they used a condom, but they only used the one condom. And condoms come, uh, I don't know, what is it, 12 in a pack, I guess? I don't know. Uh, you guys don't use condoms either, I guess. But uh, I guess that she saw him a couple of days later and noticed there was a bunch of condoms missing from the package. So she's like, what happened to the rest of the condoms? And he said, oh, well, I use them to masturbate. And so she was kind of concerned, so she asked me as like her male friend, she's like, have you ever done that before? And I was like, yeah. You know, I've done that maybe once or twice. And, um, and she said, really, you've used condoms to masturbate? And I said, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you meant have I ever lied to my girlfriend. Because that's so, <laughs> so we had this whole misunderstanding about that. Is the government watching you go to the bathroom? We'll talk about that in the next hour. But right now, if you're just joining us, we're here with Henry Phillips. He's been making us laugh and saying dirty words. He's a singer-songwriter. They do that. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, it's great to have you here, Henry. Thanks. Uh, tomorrow night, Henry's at the Espresso Yourself. Oh, what that's a, isn't that an open mic night or something? Well, it, technically, it's open mic night, but um, they give me like a preferred spot, so. Oh, okay. And it's about 3.17 in the a.m. Anyway, if you're out there and you want to speak with Henry Phillips live on the air, uh, why don't you give us a call at 752-4720. Here we go. You're on the air with Henry Phillips. Hi, Henry. Ellen? Yeah, hi. Hey. God, you sound great on the radio. Thanks. <laughs> hey, listen, just a couple of things. I took the picture over to L.A. Night Scene, and don't forget, you have that interview with Don Chase at 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only five questions, remember? Hey, Alan, do you uh, need Henry to pick up some cleaning or anything on the way? No. Oh, great. You know, this is probably a call you could have made on his personal line. You're right, Captain. Sorry. <laughs> Henry, call me later, or no, call me tomorrow, because I'm going to bed now. Sounds good. Bye, Captain. Sorry, Captain. Bye. 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 I'm great, Henry. Thanks. I'm still hearing you. Bye. You uh, have your guitar with you. Yeah, yeah. So hey, uh, why don't you play one of your new unreleased songs live here in the studio? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, why don't I do this one? Um, one time I was watching a documentary on hallucinogenic drugs, uh, which I think is really the best way to watch a documentary if you get a chance. I've done that. Yeah. I've done it. Yeah. But uh, no, this documentary was about Isaac Newton. So um, apparently Isaac Newton used to say that the reason he was able to see so far is that he was standing on the shoulders of giants. And so I've always liked that quote, and this song's sort of my, my take on it. Ancient philosophy was framed by prodigies Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates And even though their thoughts were deemed the aristocratic voice They also had a thing for little boys Catherine the Great So it's been said needed farm animals to be fulfilled in bed from historic rulers to the ancient greeks we're standing on the shoulders of freaks oh that's great the history of the world according to henry phillips yeah <laughs> thanks well there you have it, Henry Phillips, singer, songwriter, rock and tour extraordinaire. Thanks for coming on, Henry. Hey, thanks for all the promotion, man. Oh, we enjoyed it. Seven minutes to five in the AM.
Uh, levels are good. You can start any time. <clears throat> she never was abused when she was younger. And her father never up and ran away. And even though her family gave her all the love she needs, somehow. Hey, yeah. Henry, let's do something, um, maybe something with a little more pep in it. A little more up tempo. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do this one. This one always gets the crowd kind of uh, in the mood. It's uh, a little bit more of a dance kind of a tune. <clears throat> Gotta get a girlfriend. I gotta get a girlfriend. No, I'm serious. I really gotta get a girlfriend. I'm gonna get new clothes so I can get a girlfriend. Hi, Philip. Henry. Actually, it's Mitchell. Oh, sorry. No problem. Um, could you play us your funniest song? Oh, okay. Well, it, um, I gotta say, this is kind of a weird situation. Usually, I, you know, there's an audience, and um... I completely understand. We are your audience. Okay. Just do the best you can. All right. Um, well, oh, I'll do this. This one always gets a, a pretty good response here. Hello, Michelle. I know you're probably sleeping, but I just called because there was something on my mind. You're the kind of girl that a man could really settle Hello. down Hello. with. Hello. Hello. Oh. You're doing great. Okay, thanks. Could you play us a song that starts out funny right from the beginning? Okay, um, well, that's kind of tricky because usually you have like a setup. You know Stupid Joe, right? Of course he does, yeah. 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 Right. So you know his song, Itchy Nipples? It's a great song. Right? The first line in that song goes, I've got itchy nipples, right? <laughs> it's good, yeah, right? It's, it's, it's great. Uh, he has another song, uh, the masturbation song, um, choking the chicken, chicken punching, punching the clown, right? That's hilarious, right? That's a good one. You have anything like that? Um, well, I mean, it's kind of different styles, you know? Like, I, um, I think what he does is... Why don't you just give us a second? Oh, sure, sure, absolutely. He's not funny. He kills in the coffee house. I don't think he is funny. He's a folk singer. I'm going to leave this up to you. But I don't think the guy is going to sell any records. Let's, let's just take it from the top. Everything's sounding really good, Henry. Oh, cool. Let's try it again. All right. Mitchell's loving this. All right. Yeah, I can't really talk about it right now, but I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Sorry. I don't know. Can I get a coffee? Uh, well, I haven't brewed a regular pot, but I have decaf. Oh, decaf's fine. Okay. I love decaf. You love decaf? Well, I mean, I don't love it. I, it works. in a little secret about Rebecca. She's very opinionated, very strong-willed young woman. Now, I don't want you to think I was eavesdropping because I wouldn't do that, but I was listening to every word you guys were saying. Okay. And it uh, just uh, seems to me that you were coming off as uh, kind of a yes man. You know, a real cyclophant. And you don't want to do that, Henry. You want to stand up for yourself. Be your own man. You know what? Stick to your own convictions. Have strength in them. Okay, so you're saying that I should try, uh, you know, Disagreeing with her? Or... Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotcha. Um, can I talk to you in private? It takes me two hours each way to get here through traffic, and I am just wiped out. It's LA. That's what we do. You get in your car, and you sit in traffic. Joel, I can't keep doing this anymore, so either you have to give me a raise, or I'm putting in my two weeks' notice. So that's what this is about, money. Well, I... You know, back when I, uh, when I opened this joint, it used to give young musicians a shot to give them a venue that they never would have had before. You know, I always wanted to kind of be a philanderer and offer that to these young kids. So can't we just talk about this at the end of the night? You know what, we'll whatever, whatever, hey. Joel. Hey. Hey. It's 
matter? Nothing. I'm just, uh... Don't you think the traffic was really horrible today? The traffic? No. I thought it was okay, actually. You thought it was okay? It was a fucking nightmare. Well, How can you say it was okay? I thought it was pretty good. I didn't think it was that bad. It was bad. pretty good? I was sitting out there for two hours on the 101. Oh, I just think that uh, I disagree with you, that's all. What are you disagreeing with, Henry? The fact that it took me two hours? I don't even understand. Were you even out there today? Well, that's all right. It's Do you just... even know what you're talking about? I think we're just having a difference of opinion. You know what? Uh... If you think the 101 is so fucking great, why don't you sit out there for an hour and a half? Oh, how about five hours? And then get back to me and let me know how it is. All right, jerk. I fucking quit. Hey, dig this, cat. I quit. What just happened? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Hello? Chase from LA Night Scene. Oh, yeah, hold on, let me go outside. Well, howdy, thanks for taking my call. I know uh, you're a very busy man, don't want to take up too much of your time. Got five simple questions here, if you're ready. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, great. Let's just uh, start it off. Number one, where are you from? Uh, well, originally I'm from back east, New York, New Jersey, and... Um... We traveled around a lot, and I've been on the road quite a bit. Uh, right now I'm just living in LA, uh, crashing on my brother's couch. Oh, so you could... Describe yourself as somewhat of a drifter? Yeah, yeah, you can say that. All right, question two. Uh, some of the lyrics in your songs might be offensive to some people. Um, what do you think of that? I don't know, the way I look at it, I'm just kind of going around making observations and uh, singing about them, you know? I guess if people are offended by them, I guess I'm just not really performing for those types of people, you know? Those types of people. Got it, uh, what's your nationality? I just. American. <laughs> American, of course. I'm sorry, I meant um, your parents, your ancestors. Oh, um, well, my dad's uh, English, and my mom's like half Swedish. I don't really think about it a lot. I guess you could say I'm just sort of your average white male. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and do you consider yourself an expert, actually, on the international economy, or notions of a Yiddish trilateral commission? I'm not really an expert uh, in anything. Not an expert. And you're willing to admit that? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, great. So, uh, final question. Do you have any black friends? Do I have any black friends? Yes. Um... <laughs> Was that, uh, supposed to be a joke, or...? All right, well, thank you very much for your precious time. Are you sure that's everything? It seems like... A... Hello? <laughs> a lot of people don't know this about me, but I actually, uh, sold my soul to the devil in order to be able to play the guitar, which is a stupid thing to do. If you, I don't know if anybody's done that, but don't. Your initials? Some bagels. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, they're kosher. It's really awful, like I went to the whole crossroads and signed the contract. And did you find parking? Yeah, I was able to park in uh, Arizona. Why did you park all the way on Arizona Avenue? Oh, no, no, uh, the state. I was making a joke about it because I had to park really far away. It's just flat. I and the date? When I finished, I was like asking the devil, I was like, so what happens now? If I pick up a guitar, I can just play it or something? And he was like, no, well, I, I think the idea is that, you know, we could get together like every Monday and I'll show you some basic scales and some chords and theory. And I was like, whoa, wait a second. All right, well, guys, thank you very much. I thought the whole idea is that I can instantly kick ass on the guitar. And he's like, well, no, you got to practice. <laughs> Wait, this is only $2,500. That's just a 5% deposit. You'll get the rest in a couple of months. We do this all the time. To everybody. Hey, Matt. Hey, man. What's going on? Uh, I'm moving out at the end of the week. Why? What happened? Carrie left me. Oh, shit, man. Just like that, huh? Well, we had a pretty big fight, and... I'll spare you all the gory details, but I thought it would be a good idea to make up, so I sent her a singing telegram. Then she fucked the singing telegram guy. Jesus, man. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do now? Well, uh, Uncle Bill is gonna put me up in his guest house for a while and give me a job at the real estate office down in Irvine. I can't even see you doing that, man. It's, you gotta be entertaining people. That's what you're best at. Yeah, well, turns out, to. Uh, Superheroes don't get health care. I'm sorry you're gonna have to move out too, but you know, I'm subletting from her and you're subletting from me without paying. Oh yeah, no, don't worry about me, man. I just signed the contract, they gave me some money up front and then there's more on the way, so. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm getting rid of some stuff. Uh, any interest? <laughs> Dude, come on, where'd you get that? Come on, where's your sense of humor, man? All right, what about this one? You don't eat red meat, right? So it's perfect. <laughs> nah. I'm 
sorry I don't have one that says never been to Portland. There. Can I have this one? Yeah. This one's fine, huh? Yeah, that one's good. I'll take it. I'm sorry about everything, man. Oh, man. I love you, buddy. No, don't. Well, yeah. Let me. Ah. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs and take a shower. All right. And I'm going to use Carrie's soap. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You realize that if you go in there, you are supporting an establishment that condones racism and anti-Semitism and homophobia. Henry, I just put you on. It's not safe. What the hell's going on here? Get out of here. Didn't you read the paper? No, what? What did it say? You didn't read the article about you? Was it a bad review? Oh, Henry. Three Jews in Switzerland. What the hell is this? God, Henry, why did you say those things? I didn't say any of these things. Yeah, but they're in the paper. So? Look, I just got a call from Fabian's secretary. They're not going to make your CD, Henry. They're not making the CD. No, but I'm going to look into it because we have a contract. And I'm sure they can't do that. They can do whatever the fuck they want. They're a record label. Fine. Then we get another record label. We can't do that. I just signed a five-year contract with them. I licensed all my songs to them. Didn't you read the contract? You mean they own all your songs? They own everything. I'm fucked. Henry, this is terrible. Hey, you Henry Phillips? Yeah? I just want to say, stay in your ground, brother. 1967, Chicago, National Democratic Convention. That's violent. You think I'm worried about a bunch of prepubescent, mouth-breathing kids out there? Look, I look, 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 Nate, 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 please. Espresso, the espresso, espresso, the espresso. Oh, yeah. This is what I fucking need. Tracy, where's the big cat? Huh? The big cat that was standing right here. I didn't see any cat. Cat that I was talking to, the big cat that was standing right here. Where the fuck is he? A big cat? Joel. Joel, are you in there? It's Henry. Hey, man, I got to talk to you for a second. Yeah, what the hell happened? I have no idea. I showed up, and there's people picketing and everything. I never said any of these Trust things. Trust me on this one. I didn't believe for a second all this shit in that article. I didn't think you said any of that. I didn't believe that for a second. Don't worry about that. Thank God, man. I believe in you, Henry. I, I really do believe in you. Thanks, man, because, I mean, I Listen, thought for Henry, a second... Let me, let me finish here, okay? Oh. Uh, I got a business to run here, and I really can't afford to be seen talking to you right now. So I hope you'll take this the right way. I hope you'll understand this is business. The espresso yourself does not endorse the views of this Henry Phillips guy. Um, I did not know that this Jew hater was going to perform. I will never, ever hire a racist to perform here. So don't worry about that. He's, he's gone. Oh, he's a Nazi. Oh, that doesn't surprise me at all. I could tell right when, right when he came in. I could see it in his eyes, you know? I totally ripped a big song. <laughs> Wake up, Wade. The stupid Joe. Oh, he's funny. I just want to say before I go on, you know, and there's been a lot of people using hatred and racism to get a laugh in this business. And that is not what I'm about. I'm not speaking for you, but I have a feeling that's not what you're about, am I right? All right, folks, so, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get together. I'm gonna say, are you guys ready to get guitarded? And you're gonna scream, yeah, yeah. all right? Are you guys ready to get guitarded? Yeah! That, that's not good enough, my, my fans, right? Are you guys ready to get guitarded? Yeah! No, 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 come on, that's not good enough. Are you ready to get guitarded? Yeah! Yeah. That is not good enough. Oh, you it's fucking good enough. Hey, pal, take it easy, will you? I'm trying to come out and have a beer, and all of a sudden I'm getting this dickhead shoved down my throat. A cut loose, a fart loose. There goes some brown juice. Can you turn it off? No, I can't turn it off. It sucks. You know the door you came in? You can go out the same hole. Yeah, I am leaving. I'm a customer leaving. See ya. Just gotta finish my beer first, though. I'm leaving, man. I'm a customer leaving. Bye. Can I ask you for a cigarette? Can I ask you to get a job? 
Henry, I've been looking for you everywhere. We need to do a little damage control. Damage control? You never said any of those Listen, things. I'm glad I ran into you. I wanted to give you this. What's this? It's your commission on the oh, advance. Oh, no, 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 I don't want this yet. Hey, look, I'm gonna call Fabian. I'm sure I can get things back on track. I don't and... think any of that's gonna happen. And besides, you've worked really hard and you deserve it. I mean, you've been a great supporter and nothing's happened. What so do you mean nothing's like... happened? This is just a setback. I'm gonna leave LA. Why? Because I need to get back on the road. Okay, look, I'll call my contacts in the clubs, you know, like uh, Fat Johnny's and San Clemente. And, that's another thing uh, I hey, gotta I got talk a friend to you in about. Reno, right? Casinos, Henry, that's Listen, big bucks. Listen, Alan, I've and thought about all up this and a lot. Please don't say it. We need please, to... please don't say it. We have to go our separate ways. Oh, shit. I'm not rejecting you as a person. Oh, look, I'm I don't just... care about the rejection. I, I've taken rejection all my life. It comes with the territory. I. I just think you're making a mistake. I think what you do is 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 interesting, and I think people need to see I've it. I've made and... my mind up about this, and I want you to have this. It's yours, and thanks for everything. I'm sorry. Henry, I just can't... Thanks for everything, Ellen. Hey, we're back. It's Captain Chaotic and the new live drive time show, 4 to 7 in the p.m. We're moving up in the world. Hope you're driving safe out there. Stay out of our beds and our heads, you feds. Can't you see the sign on the door? It says, do not disturb. You're not going to want to see the freaky things going on in here anyway. So let's take it back and listen to some more Henry Phillips. I'm in Minneapolis, here in Hollywood And I heard for you things were going pretty good You're screening your calls I'm freezing my balls off Cause I'm in Minneapolis, and you're in Hollywood I'm in Amarillo, Texas, you're in La La Land And I just did a show and got heckled by the Ku Klux Klan You're having sex on the beach I'm opening for Screech, cause I'm in Amarillo, Texas, here in Hollywood. I'm in Opelousas, Louisiana, here in Tinseltown. And I just saw your face on TV while I was flipping around. You're signing some girl's boob. I'm reaching for some lube, cause I'm in Opelousas, Louisiana, and you're in Hollywood. Don Chase. Don Chase. This journalist, this liar, wrote all kinds of lies about our friend Henry Phillips, a voice in the wilderness, Don Chase. Sounds like the name of a bank that might hand out credit cards to kids just to keep them in debt the rest of their lives. And the real booze go out to Fabian Mann of X Company Records for dropping Henry Phillips from their label. She never was abused when she was younger. Somehow she's a bitch anyway. I think it's time we got on the phones and told X Company Records that they should be an X Record Company. Steve, you're on the air. Yeah. Hey, Captain. I think we should make X Company Records an X Record Company. <laughs> I couldn't have articulated that better myself. Stupid Joe sucks. I'm in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. You're back in L.A. And I heard you were making $3,000 a day. Come on. You're at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm next door to an Al Qaeda cell. There's mud coming out of the water spout, and the toilet paper just ran out. So excuse me if I sound just a little off kilter. I've been wiping my ass with a coffee filter, because I'm in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, and you're in Hollywood. I'm in a bowling alley somewhere near Oskaloosa, Iowa. 
you're on the walk of fame and the people here seem to think my songs are lame I just did a show and they hated my guts Some chick with a mullet just kicked me in the nuts Same damn song for the 2000th time You are the blossom and I am the vine I'm gonna go to the bar and drown my sorrow Does anybody have a rope I can borrow? Cause I'm at a bowling alley somewhere near Oskaloosa, Iowa And you're in Hollywood Yeah, I'm at a bowling alley somewhere near Oskaloosa, Iowa And you're in Hollywood Now I'm coming up on Little Rock you're in Hollywood. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta call you back. I gotta I think call I'll you stop back. at the Waffle House. You're in Hollywood. Cigarettes are cheap in Vegas. You're in Hollywood. You're in Hollywood. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. I'm gonna be on again in about an hour, and uh, Pepe Pepadopoulos is gonna be coming up and doing some tunes later, so stick around. Thanks. Excuse me, are you Henry Felice? Hey! <laughs> no way! What are you doing here? Um, I just stopped to get gas and I saw your name on the marquee. Or part of it, anyway. Oh, yeah, no, they ran out of peas, I guess. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so it's great to see you. Good I mean, to see you too. Are you like on a road trip or something? No, actually, I'm moving back to Portland. Oh, you are? Yeah. Cool. So you're gonna start your own club? Yeah, you oh, remembered. that's awesome. Yeah. No, of course. Cool. So I'm glad to see you're still performing. I thought maybe you'd quit. Yeah, no, I didn't quit. I, I mean, I took a little bit of time off, wrote some new songs, but uh, yeah. no, I can't quit. I love it, you know. Hey, thanks, guys. I want to do a song for you now um, that I wrote about my adventures in L.A., and uh, I hope you enjoy it. You know, I'm sorry, before I do this song, this is kind of a weird uh, request, but um, I just got this album, it's James Taylor, and it's a live album, and every time he uh, starts one of his songs, he does the first couple of chords, and all of a sudden there's this huge, like, uproarious applause, because it's everybody's favorite song or whatever, and I know you guys never even heard this shit before, but I thought it might be fun to try to recreate that whole moment right now, if you don't mind. Like, I'll start it, and if you can give me that little bit of recognition applause, maybe it'll feel like we're at a rock concert and you know, I don't know, girls if you want to show your breasts, I suppose you could do that. <laughs> you don't have to do that, but uh, anyway. <clears throat> so here, I'll, I'll start it again. This is a little song that I wrote uh, about my time in LA and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Well, I quit my job at the corner store and started heading out for the open road. Nothing more than my six string and a dream and the shirt on my back. And my pants, of course. You gotta have pants. <laughs> well, Interstate 10, West Coast bound, heading for a place that some people like to call L.A. Where they say the sun is always shining and all the chicks are naked and the dudes are gay. That's what they say about L.A. L.A. dream, where the freeways are like rainbows to the clouds. L.A. dream, and the people always greet you with a smile. Money, so it's been said, and a drunken hotel heiress gives you head. Well, I was paying dues, tenant bar, and a guy came up to me and said, Hey, kid, you want to be a star? And I said, Yeah, you know, I did a little bit of acting back in high school. I actually was in the school play, I played a tree. And he said, That's good enough for me. So we hopped into his white van and we went to his studio that looked a little bit more like an abandoned warehouse. And he made me put on leather chaps and a gladiator helmet. And I said, oh, I get it. This is a period piece. Well, needless to say, the movie never was released. And 
I'm not supposed to talk about it Cause even though there was a happy ending There's still some charges pending And now it's time for me to make my way back home Here we go L.A. Dream Well, the freeways weren't like rainbows to the clouds L.A. Dream And the palm trees weren't made of cotton candy And there's 13 million people Yet you still feel all alone And it's time for me to make my way back home Yeah, it's time for me to make my way back home 